Shabbat Shalom, everyone. So I begin reading from Numbers 8, verses 1 to 4. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and say to him, When you arrange the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light in front of the lampstand. And Aaron did so. He arranged the lamps to face toward the front of the lampstand, as the Lord commanded Moses. Now this workmanship of the lampstand was of hammered gold. From its shaft to its flowers, it was hammered work according to the pattern which the Lord had shown Moses. So he made the lampstand. Next, I'm reading from Numbers 10, verses 1 to 10. Two silver trumpets. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Make two silver trumpets for yourself. You shall make them of hammered work. You shall use them for calling the assembly and for directing the movement of the camps. When they blow both of them, all the assembly shall gather before you at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. But if they blow only one, then the leaders, the heads of the divisions of Israel, shall gather to you. When you sound the advance, the camps that lie on the east side shall then begin their journey. When you sound the advance the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall begin their journey. They shall sound the call for them to begin their journeys. And when the congregation is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but not sound the advance. The sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow the trumpets, and these shall be to you as an ordinance forever throughout your generations. When you go to war in your land against the enemy who oppresses you, then you shall sound the alarm with the trumpets, and you will be remembered before the Lord your God, and you will be saved from your enemies. Also, in the day of your gladness, in your appointed feasts, and at the beginning of your months, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be a memorial for you before your God. I am the Lord your God. The next reading is from Zechariah chapter 2, verses 10 to 13. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming, and I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and they shall become my people, and I will dwell in your midst. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And the Lord will take possession of Judah as his inheritance in the Holy Land and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for he is aroused from his holy habitation. Zechariah chapter 4, verses 1 to 7. Vision of the lampstand and olive trees. Now the angel who talked with me came back and wakened me as a man who is wakened out of his sleep. And he said to me, What do you see? So I said, I am looking, and there is a lampstand of solid gold with a bowl on top of it, and on the stand seven lamps with seven pipes to the seven lamps. Two olive trees are by it, one at the right of the bowl and the other at its left. So I answered and spoke to the angel who talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth a capstone with shouts of grace, grace to it. And our last reading is from Matthew, chapter 4, 
1 to 7. I have a lot of little pieces and paper in here marking <laughs> Okay, Matthew 14, um, verses 14 to 21. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. When it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a deserted place, and the hour is already late. Send the multitudes away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Jesus said to them, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. And they said to him, We have here only five loaves and two fish. He said, Bring them here to me. Then he commanded the multitudes to sit down in the grass, and he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples, and the disciples gave to the multitudes. So they all ate and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments that remained. Now those who had eaten were about five thousand men, besides women and children. The word of the Lord. Silver trumpets were blown by the Israelites for order and discipline. When they heard the silver trumpet, the ears perked up and they knew it was that God was speaking through the trumpets for some order and discipline, and that came out in the reading. But of course, as we now know now, 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 Yeshua is the trumpet. Yeshua is the new order. The royal law is now his discipline. He is the trumpet. He is the call. Hallelujah. 